Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 video of CERT, which is in the Form 4 Additional Mathematics, Chapter 4. So in the previous video, you already learned what is the meaning of CERT and uh, how to simplify a CERT. So in this video, we're going to learn how to perform addition, subtraction and multiplication involving CERT. So we start off by simplifying the following expressions. So you have uh, the four basic operations which involve the CERTs. So CERT5 plus CERT5 equals to what? Okay, so, so it is easier if you see CERT5 as a number, like for example, if you let A equals to CERT5, so A plus, this CERT5 is also an A, A plus A equals to 2A. So CERT5 plus CERT5 equals to 2 CERT5. And CERT5 minus CERT5, of course, is equals to 0. CERT5 times CERT5 is actually the square root of 5 times 5, which is the square root of 25, which can be simplified to 5. So if you understand the meaning of square root of 5 times square root of 5, you can straight jump to the final conclusion, which is actually 5. And of course, CERT5 divided by CERT5, the number divided by itself equals to 1. These are the all four basics that you need to know. For next, we have 2 cert 5 plus cert 5. So again, remember we can let we see cert 5 as a number. 2 cert 5 plus cert 5 equals to 3 cert 5. Okay? There are 2 cert 5 plus 1 more cert 5, we have 3 cert 5. Or if you still have a problem with this, you can see cert 5 again as a, so it will be 2a, so this is plus, third 5 is a. a, 2a plus a equals to 3a, so a here is a third 5. So 2 third a plus third a, again you see third a as one a number, so 2 third a plus third a becomes 3 third a. Now 5 third 5 minus 3 third 5, so here is the same, so again you can perform 5 minus 3 equals to 2 third 5. Okay, next, we have 2 third 5 times 3 third 5. So when it's multiplication, we just multiply all the numbers. So we multiply 2 and 3, so you get 2 times 3, and third 5 times third 5, so third 5 times third 5. 2 times 3, you get 6. Third 5 times third 5, we already learned that this is actually equals to 5. 6 times 5, you get 30. Anytime you have problems, you can always use a calculator to double check your answers. So 4 third 5 divided by 2 third 5, if we write this in a fraction form, it becomes 4 third 5 over 2 third 5. 4 and 2 simplified becomes 2, third 5 and third 5. So 5 divided by set 5 actually equals to 1, so the answer is 2. Next, okay, we perform this part first. So it will be set 2 times 5 using the law of sets, okay, plus set 10. So 2 times 5 is actually set, 2 times 5 is 10, so set 10 plus set 10 will be 2 set 10. Now we have this again, start from left to the right. So we have a square root or the third, uh, 24 divided by 2 according to the law of third. So 24 divided by 2, you get 12. So third 12 plus third 12, the answer is 2 third 12. And here, if possible, we try to simplify our answers. So can this be simplified? So we try to find the factors of 12, which is 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. That's all the factors. And in all the factors, this is the biggest perfect square or square numbers. So we take this, we substitute into this, you get 4 times 3. So you get 2, uh, 4 times 3. You simplify this, you get 2. So 2 times 2 is Four. So you get the answer 4, third, 3 as the simplest form of the third. Now we have another different form which involves the bracket. 
So third three have to multiply with two, you get two third three, and then third three have to multiply with negative, negative third three, you get negative third three times third three. Okay, with the multiplication here. So two third three equal is still the same. Third three times third three is actually equals to three. So you leave this as your final answer. This is the simplest form. We try again. So now we have third five times two third five becomes two third five times third five, and then third five times negative third five, which you get negative third five times third five. So here you have third five times third five equals to five. Whereas third five times third five here equals to five as well. Hence, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 minus 5 is 5. Now we have third 18 minus third 2. So in order to perform the, uh, the subtraction here, so we need to simplify this. So first we need to find the factors of 18, which is 1, 18, 2 times 9 is 18, so 2 and 9. So we have 3, 6, that's it. Of all these factors, 9 is the perfect square or the square number. So we take this, so we simplify third 18 by using this combination here. So third 18 is actually third 9 times 2 and minus negative minus, uh, neg minus third 2. You simplify this, you get third 9 times third 2 minus third 2. Third 9 is equal to 3, so 3 third 2 times third 2. 2 and so 3 sub 2 minus 1 sub 2 you get 2 sub 2 so for this case we just perform the multiplication as usual okay so 4 times 1 here you get 4 4 times 5 sub 2 you get 4 times 5 is 20 so 20 sub 2 then you perform this 2 sub 2 times 1, positive, you get 2 sub 2, and then the positive 2 sub 2, multiply this, you get 2 times 5 is, the 2 times 5 here is 10, sub 2 times sub 2 here becomes 2. So now we simplify this, 4 plus 10 times, 10 times 2 is 20, so you get 24. And then 20 sub 2 plus 2 sub 2. So 20 plus 2, you get 20 2 sub 2. Since sub 2 is the simplest here, you don't have to simplify. This is your final answer. Now we go to the second part of this video where we, you need to learn to determine whether the following given sets of expressions here, there are two sets here, are they similar sets or not similar sets? So in order to determine whether they are similar sets or not, we need to first simplify them. So in order to simplify set 18, we need to find the combinations or the factors of 18. So for 18, we have 1 times 18, we have 2 times 9, we have 3 times 6. So among all of this, 9 is the biggest perfect square or square numbers. So we can write 5 set 18 as 5 third and 18 we write as 9 times 2. So this becomes third 9 times third 2. Third 9 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So you get 15 third 2. We simplify this to this. The same goes to the second expression. We try to find, we try to simplify this part. So for 72, we have 1 times 72. We have 2 times 36, we have 3 times 24, we can continue, but actually you can see that 36 is the biggest perfect square. So we take this combination, so this one we equals to 2, so 36 times 2, so you get 2, so 36 times so 2 according to the law of law of thirds. So the square root of 36 or the set of 36 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. And then we have set 2. So now, 
both of these expression has been simplified and can, you can see that both of these contains cert 2 as a factor hence we say that 5 cert 18 2 cert 72 are similar certs so here I repeat again since 5 cert 18 can be written as 15 cert 2 and 2 cert 72 can be written as 12 cert 2 now both of these two expressions have cert 2 as the irrational factor Thus, we say that these two expressions are similar certs. We try more examples. Now we have three expressions. We, regardless of positive and negative, we just want to see whether they have the same irrational factor here. So now, this is already the simplest form. We, we don't have to simplify it again. And for cert 12, okay, so we try to find the factors of uh, 12 which is 1 times 12 we have 2 times 6 we have 3 times 4 that's it and among this 4 is the biggest perfect square or the square numbers so we take this as this combination so we take 4 times 3 so we have 5 sub 4 times sub 3 and 5 times sub 4 you get sub 4 is 2 2 times 5 is 10 so you get 10 sub 3 so this 2 has the same irrational factor sub 3 so these two so these two are similar certs. But how about the third one? We still have to find out. So we look for the factors of 27 first. So it's 1 times 27. It is also 3 times 9. That's it. So 9 is the largest factors that is a perfect square. So we take this combination. So this we get negative 2 cert 9 times 3. So negative 2. Sorry. Set 9 times set 3, you get set 9 is 3. 3 times negative 2, you get negative 6. So this is the simplest form. So all these have the same irrational factors. So since all the expression has set 3 as the irrational factor, thus these are all similar sets. So are these similar sets? You may pause the video and try it out yourself. Or uh, we can do it together. So we try to simplify this by first finding the, all the factors of 80, which is 1 times 80. And then we have 2 times 40. We have 4 times 20. We have 5 times 16. We can continue from here, but you can actually see that 16 is the biggest uh, perfect square here so we take the biggest perfect square so this becomes 5 third, 16 times 5 so here it becomes third, 5, 16 times third, 5 third of 16 is 4 4 times 5 is 20 so you have 20 third, 5 so for the next one here 58 the factors for 58 is 1 times 58 then we have 2 times 29 and this is these are all the factors for 58 so do we have any perfect square factors here 1 2 29 and 8 to 58 there's none there's none means you cannot simplify this so 2 third 58 is still 2 third 58 cannot be simplified so since the two expression here has different irrational factors so we don't have to look for the third one we can we can jump to a conclusion where this set of expression these three expression here are not similar they are not similar certs okay so since the expression does not contain a similar irrational factor thus they are not similar certs so this concludes our part 2 video i'll see you in the third part 3 video thank you